There are two types of plant tissue. The first one is meristemic tissue. The second one is permanent tissue. For meristemic tissue, there are two types. The first one is apical meristem. The second one is lateral meristem. Grounds for permanent tissue, there are three types. The first one is ground tissue, vascular tissue, and dermal tissue. For ground tissue, there are three types of ground tissue. The first one is parenchyma, colenchyma, and sclerenchyma. For vascular tissue, xylem, and phloem. We go first to meristem tissue. Unspecialized or undifferentiated function of meristem tissue form new cells by active mitotic division. Types of meristem. The first one is apical meristem. Distribution, root tips, shoot buds, axillary or apical buds, axillary or apical buds. Function, responsible in primary growth, grow in length. The second one is Lateral meristem, vascular cambium, and cock cambium. Distribution located in the outer edge of stem and roots. Function responsible in secondary growth, the thickening of roots and shoots. Parenchyma nucleus is present. Usually isodiametric or elongate in shapes, has thin primary cell wall containing cellulose, hemicellulose, and pectin, has a large central vacuole, has a thin layer of cytoplasm pushed to the periphery. Functions of parenchyma as a ground tissue of stems and roots, store foods large intracellular spaces for gases exchange and some cells are modified to form other cells. Colenchyma nucleus is presents polygon shapes and elongate. Cells are closely packed, do not have or have a little intercellular space. Cells have unevenly thickened primary cell wall, especially at their corner with cellulose, pectin, and hemicellulose. Functions of colenchyma provide flexible supports for young parts of plant or herbicous plants. Sclerenchyma has a thick secondary cell wall containing lignin, has no nucleus when matured, usually dies after maturity. Fibers are elongate in shape with tapering end and sclerite are irregular in shape. Cells do not have intercellular space. Cells are closely packed together. Function provides strength and support in plants. Two types of sclerenchyma. The first one is fiber. Fiber are long and slender with tapered end and usually occur in groups. Those from hemp fibers are used for making rope and those from flax are used for weaving into lining. The second one is sclerites. Sclerites are shorter than fibers and irregular shapes, impart the hardness to nut shells and seed coats and the gritty textures to pear fruits. Two type of vascular tissue. The first one is xylem. Xylem conduct water and dissolve mineral upwards from roots into the shoots. Flumes. Flumes transport foods made in mature leaf to the roots and to non-photosynthetic parts of the shoot systems. Trachyte, long, 
thin cell with tapered end. Perforation is absence. Water move laterally from cell to cell, mainly through pits because their secondary wall are hardened with lignin. Vessel elements generally wider, shorter, thinner wall and less tapered than tracheid. Vessel elements are aligned end to end, forming vessel, have pits and hole as its end wall called perforation plates enabling water to flow freely. Flumes Sieve tube made up of sieve tube elements that are joined end to end. The cell and wall have a sieve plate, a series of holes that facilitates the flow of fluids between cells and allows cytoplasm to pass through from one sieve element to another. A living but lack of nucleus. Function conduct sugar. Component cells are living cells, are non conducting cells. Component cells located alongside sieve tubes connected by numerous plasmodesmata. Function helps load sugars into sieve tube elements.